head of the watch now. Thank you, exactly. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Oh, a visitor. Who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? I mean, he has a name. Damn. All right, what we got? Blacksmith. Uh, I can't go back. Where's your visitor? Ah. Uh, Let's look at the fire. Let's go start the fire. I used to think it was called South of the Wall. Okay. Um. Blacksmith first. Let's go stare at him. See what he's doing. Who's the visitor? I'm wondering. John Snow's right about man's radar. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. That's why he's hammering away. Sharpening stone. The Roylands used to make me sharp, and all the blades are iron wrath. Okay. All right. Who's the visitor? Don't forget the practice shot. Oh, it's you. Uncle Duncan. Duncan. Garrett. It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd what? be back in time. Hey, I missed you. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with a nice hey, watch. you're here, how do... A delivery of ironwood shields. Huh. Keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then. Right, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. Yep, yep. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. You should have been. I needed you there, you asshole. Our Lord struck down with such barbarity. I don't trust this guy anymore. Nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. <sighs> that should have been there. Countless threats. I should have been there protecting Ethan. What good am I at the wall? That's why I'm really here. About the grove we mentioned way back when? Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? I do, but I'm wondering if you do. Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you North in grove. confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. Okay. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession. Yeah, a vital can it really help us? At all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believes so. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself, somewhere north of the wall. North of the wall. And you must Ooh. find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy, but you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. How do I find Somewhere it? Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind. Strike out what? some road. Whoa, whoa, hang this on a second. This is no small request I make. I know that. That'd be desertion, yeah. There's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. You ask a lot of things, then disappear all of a sudden. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. Yeah, just lay on the table rather than give it to me. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Okay. Well, there's a tree here. I used to be frightened of where with trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. Okay. There's Castle Ruins. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Hmm. 
What's this say? What's the note say? Hear the werewoods whisper. Hmm. Okay. Note and marking here. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. What is this? Oh, what are we? What is so special about this place? Look, there's a clasp. It must open. Can I open it? I had no idea this was inside. Wow. Another werewolf. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Hmm. Okay. Very well, it could be actually. That's here. North Grove. I have it's another note there. Okay. Hmm. Uh, to the right. That looks pretty good. Perfect fit. Yeah. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Okay. Marking. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be anything special, I don't think. One uh, more time. Mm, yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't really match with anything. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Yeah, let's try that one here. Um, Let's try this one. Uh, I don't... It doesn't look good. Let's try that. No. One more time. Ah, gonna be, it doesn't doesn't match with anything. No, no. Oh, of course, we're the last one. That doesn't one. seem to work. Watch for this. Right in the middle of the page. Let's go right first. Oh, hang on. That looks kind of. That actually looks kind of fit. Yeah, there we go. It fits. Whoa. It's the whole map that has to turn. mouth uncle whatever this place is the north grove must be near there's only one way to find out here take okay. this map got it everything we hold dear may well depend on your success it's a lot to put on your shoulders <sighs> the lives of a whole house I'll do what I can I'll try uncle it's no small task I'm still just a squire I know what I'm asking it, of you. It wasn't really about but you being a squire still, the, the fact that he's asking you to desert the Night's Watch. God's watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, got it. Oh, we'll go on top of the wall. I don't know. They're probably like little, little shards. Barrels. I want to never lift one of those again. Wait, so... Like a what? May need to. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. What's this here? <laughs> Mine's what are they talking ate. about? Anything Drinking froze, urine? Let's talk about the wall. It probably, it'll break up into little icy. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Ironwood business. to come to Castle Black. Visiting. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. Oh, it, it was beef. nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. Look, I'm sorry, it's beyond private, apparently. I think they're pretty fast, damn. Someone's pushing that thing while running. All right, back in King's Landing. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. Yes. Quite. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. 
I like, I like your positivity. We'll be able to see everyone. And everyone yeah, we've come a long way. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I like Mira, she's getting very like I've been meaning to say sneaky and what I told you about my this is getting great. family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Wow, don't come free? Wow. Yeah, be careful who you trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Well, that's very weird to say to I'll her. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. I didn't mean by I'm just trying to help. Jesus there Christ. Oh my God. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. You go ahead. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, so don't think I was being a douche earlier. Just help. Just try to help. Oh, hi, cold boy. Let's go to him. We gotta talk. I don't what run like they look suspicious. Here? Oh no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. Uh, are you okay? Next. Are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. Okay. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Do you hear the is body? Safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? Uh. The knife. If we survive this, there can't be the any knife. details we've overlooked. I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. Yeah, you too. You How? too. Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Thank you, cold boy, but why are you helping me? Seriously. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? Well, I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. Tom! Thank you, Tom. Each other. Or it's both our heads. Yeah, why were you there that night, though? Who were you? What were you even doing there that night? I once told you, there are people who'd be willing to help you, people who want you alive. I'm here to you're, make sure that you're happens. working for somebody. Wait, but who? What? You mean someone, Mira? My lady. Hmm. That look. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Yeah, thank you for saving me. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie I don't know about this girl. The throne room. She seems friendly, wait. but... You can tell me all about this... I think getting a bit paranoid. Well... If you really want to know, first of all, his I mean, is it Garrett, is it me? Like he her really looks like, give me evil looks here. He told me the cleverest story about. I don't. I don't think we can trust her anymore. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I'm gonna cover for I her too. You have no problems with the reigns of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. Hang on now. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Yes. Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace. speak out of turn... We will do I... as Marjorie you wishes. You should finish what you start. Your Grace, 
We must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, The then... King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She said she'd serve the king, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go on. I'm not be Oh my god, it's gracious. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your How does wanting to be at a wedding to serve your lady a swing of loyalty? The fuck, man? Of course, your grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaiden should know their place. I do know my place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Ooh. Ah. So is she the one sending the guards at us? What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. We d we if something's going on, help me. I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. I'm being truthful to he her. He did. Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. Thank you. Thank I don't you. care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. What? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble? For I'm not me? trying to make trouble. I'm just trying to help my family. Please, just trust me. Please, Lady Marjorie. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I think. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. I'm not playing games. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. This is going wrong quickly. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. It's not good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. I don't quite understand why me talking to Tyrion's causing an issue, but... Look, you know, kings and queens, way above the common folk, and us handmaidens don't know what's going on, so... What is happening? Someone... Oh, he's having a flashback. Okay. I thought we were gonna go into the middle of a battle. Like, what's happening here? Is he still using that sword as a cane? Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They're still drunk? We attack them now. Woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'm Royland. Need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. Causing a big ruckus down there. What are they doing? You're gonna burn the grain? What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. They're armed and ready for a fight, so I mean, may be the best time to attack them. What are they burning? <laughs> it was meaning this. What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? You know that. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill, Why? And commander <laughs> of this like garrison. a douche. Like, I hate you already. Look at that goblin, too, his nose. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? Yeah, I'm one of Ironrath. <laughs> Pathetic. Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. 
I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. Wow, you've got a. Thing you need to he's know. got a little bit of spirit clump, complex going on. I am not happy. No one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, yeah. Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men oh, right. Duncan, you're going to help for once? Done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? We've given you men yeah. the wine they want. If they drink too much of it, that's their doing. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. Yeah, he's kind of like a We're real bad complex. He's like, he's got a. Bruce Bolton. I can Lord feel like he's worth north. something. He's so fourth born, so. I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever. We'll do what yeah, we you will do as I do. say. You're mad, Griff. This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? This is gonna be bad. Now, I got a feeling it's gonna end up being very bad. Me and men will take our place in your hall, unless you think you and your army can stop me. Hmm. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Stop him. Stop him. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. God, we have no allies either right now. <sighs> this is going to be a pain in the ass. We gotta do something. We gotta do something. We're giving them wine. They're getting drunk. We gotta like attack them when they're drunk or something. That's not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what yeah, he Yeah, tread wants. carefully, though. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. What? What now? We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands. Burnt farms and cut down our trees, all the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff isn't the head; it's his father. Perhaps, but Griff is here. We have access to him. We do. And they have Ryan. Oh God. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't We're gonna have a choice. Somebody. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Hmm. All right. What do we do? Spell him. Or we can save Ryan. Oh God. Okay. Let's think this through here. If we get him out of the our home, we'll be free again. But we mistreat him, though, we could hurt Ryan. If we put up with his butt for now. We could potentially get Ryan back. And then kick him out? Ah, oh, goodness. We gotta save Ryan. We have to save him. We get 
get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. I agree. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. We will stand. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure... <sighs> no, he weren't. No, I'm home. sorry. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need okay, in King's okay. Landing. It's all coming we together. I imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud White will we'll try. They have to try. While we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. Overall, I'm so glad he's Sentinel. Don't that good advice, but I need, I need a warrior here. I'm glad he's still here with me. My lord. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. All right. I spoke with her at the funeral, as did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards, I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Hmm. Can we trust her? I understand your hesitation. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. <laughs> Apparently I'm not good at this, so don't get your hopes up. Sorry. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers, they're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, okay, they don't make they don't they don't grow good flowers here. Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Look, he asks me. Hey, he's I'll talking. Return her shortly. He's asking me right now. Who you can I back off. Deny Lord Tyrion. Thank you. Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one. You'll deny me I'm, all you like. I'm sorry. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I'm sorry, I Marjorie. All right, wrong. listen. I'm sorry. There's more important things going on. I've been trying to help I you. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Just keep biting me back. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. Now I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. Okay, this is good news. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. What do I own in return? You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> this is just enjoy the I, you get that feeling again enjoy. where it's like oh my god just nothing is going right it's all horrible we're all gonna die day of all days you know I didn't want you talking to him he asked me you're playing a dangerous game Mira. I'm sorry Sarah will help me with my gown and hair <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. What? I, uh, no! You said I could crush your hair! No, please! Come with me, Sarah. No! I wanted to brush your hair! 
<laughs> and feel the dress. I think overwhelmed just fine, so we'll be okay. 